This is Ian from the award-winning In 30 Minutes Guides. I'm gonna show you four places in Yahoo Mail to find missing email. If this video helps, please subscribe and like the video and let's get started. So this is a standard inbox for Yahoo Mail and if you don't find out what you're looking for in the inbox, this is the first place I would look. Drafts. Drafts are mails that you started but you didn't finish. You can see that some of these go back years and sometimes I find that, especially if I didn't get a response from somebody, the email's actually hanging out in drafts. I just have to open it and then uh, send it or do what I need to do with it. The second place I always look for missing email, especially mail that's been sent to me, is the spam folder. And basically what happens is, in addition to all the junk that shows up in the spam folder, typically there is legitimate email. So for instance, Reddit, this is a legitimate email. For some reason, it ended up in the spam folder. And when I see that, what I always do is I check it off. Here's another one that doesn't belong there and then I restore to inbox, and then I can just review them. The third place to look for missing email in Yahoo Mail is to check the trash. And what often happens with trash I've found, in addition to stuff that I've trashed, sometimes things that show up there include mail that's been filtered to trash because I set up all these filters a long time ago, basically to sort email that I wanted to see and I didn't want to see. So this one, for instance, from the library, this was probably filtered here by accident. So if I wanted to read it, of course, I could just open it up. And finally, the fourth place to really find uh, missing email is to look in the search. So what I'm going to do is search for IFTT and then press return. And you can see all of these mails is from a service I used to use called IFTT. And if I knew that there was a important message from a long time ago from IFTTT, by doing the search, I could kind of browse through them and see what I wanted to uh, restore or to print out or do whatever. If this video helped, please take a moment to like it and subscribe on YouTube for more information. Check the links in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching.